Okay, workers race to build a castle. An ice castle. Fancy fish houses that now double as a summer getaway on wheels. We really are living a life of luxury. Good night. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this, Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Board Review Lodge. The smallest product that we featured on Made for the Outdoors so far is a fish hook. This Ice Castle Fish House now takes the cake as the largest. And building the RV edition is a lot like building a house. Let's see how it's made for the outdoors. Ice castles, fancy wheeled fish houses worthy of the name. First introduced in 1997, these locally built houses get people on the ice and into the woods. Ice Castle Fish Houses is the oldest and largest manufacturer of fish houses on wheels in the world. Headquartered in Montevideo, Minnesota. We are uh, American Surplus and Manufacturing, which makes the Ice Castle Fish House brand, and we're located in Montevideo, Minnesota. Business is absolutely booming. With the whole wheelhouse market in general, everybody's using them more than just ice fishing, they're using them in the summer as well. Keep busy building more than a dozen a day, transforming fish houses into all season RVs. The entire process starts with crafting the blueprint. 43 different models with options to customize. Well, now that the houses are bigger and crazier, it's. We do a lot of custom prints. What started out as five employees back in 1997 now is 170 in peak season. So we're going to build an RV edition fish house. And this is an example of what one of those looks like. Look at you've got a dining set for six now, a bed up above that sleeps too. You've got all of your fish holes as you walk through the kitchen. Luxury living, the comfort of your home. Chad Hepler volunteered to show us around. Process starts right here in plant three, otherwise known as the floor department. So we get the frames built by uh, three different manufacturers. They out we outsource that, they're all local companies. Once they get that done, we roll the frames right in here. They prep the frame. A good foundation is key. These Minnesota made frames carry up to 7,000 pounds. The crew preps each frame by adding glue for the floor. This part is vital. This is the base of the house. Everything is built off of the top of this, so it's crucial that this is done right. Um, this is, uh, if you're building a house, this would be the foundation. During decking, the guys lay plywood, sand it smooth, and cut the fish holes so we can drop a line. It's uh, three quarter inch green tree plywood. Depending on the floor covering, then we will either get the glue put down or, or sand it level for the vinyl. If you choose that, that's a popular option right now. If it's carpet, we just get that put on. This is an eight by 24 house, and the customer actually got to customize all of the fish holes exactly where they want them. They chose eight as their number, and they also get to customize their flooring, and they chose vinyl. So we've got Brandon and Travis down here. They're gonna help us lay it out. We 
we've really expanded. We can offer a variety of colors. We have the brown vinyl that we're offering now. We also have a barn wood, like a gray. We also have what we've had in the past, like the, the rubber, like the toy hauler matting. We also still offer the, the gray carpet as well. We try to make it, you know, homey and as warm as possible, as it make it look uh, really fancy, high-end stuff. Travis and I then retrace and recut the fish holes in the laminate. They're trusting me with a knife, look out. <laughs> they told me if I ruin the house, I have to take it home today. <laughs> so here's the first attempt not to ruin this one. I have used a utility knife before, for the record. It doesn't look like that right now. Right along the edge. Yep. <laughs> you got it now, guys. It's really not that hard. Look at me go! Woo! One done, seven to go. <laughs> As Travis finishes cutting, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we frame the frame. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Borderview Lodge, Ice Castle Fish Houses, Aquarius Home Services, Car Arms, and by Keystone Light. Keystone Light, always smooth. Celebrate responsibly. Ice Castle Fish Houses serve as a camper, trailer, hunting shack, and fish house all in one. It's like fishing in your living room. <laughs> That sense of comfort makes them popular, which keeps employees busy year-round at their headquarters in southern Minnesota. Just about a couple weeks ago, we were making 16 houses a day, and we have to work at a fast pace. So building an ice castle is pretty much just like building a house. Time now to install the walls. As the frames arrive from building three, the walls are built from cedar and pine. Semi loads of wood, literally semi loads come every week, everywhere from our three quarter inch green tree decking that we use on the flooring to the two by three studs that we use on the wall. We make the walls, the panel, and everything, and we assemble everything together. Meet Chris Sandoval, one of Ice Castle's heavy lifters. Yeah, I would say so. I would say we probably do one of the most heavy lifting jobs. My team consists of four other people. We have kind of a competition of who can go the fastest and who's kind of better at the job. Chris and his team build up this house quickly. It only takes them about 10 minutes. They go to the rack, grab the walls, and a team just goes to work and it's fast, it's like, it's clockwork. That's all they do all day long. We carry two big walls on each side and then after that we carry one back window, two front walls and whatever bathroom it is, it just depends on what it is. And you can either start from the back, the front and as soon as we get that together we go inside, we put the bathroom together, we throw the ceiling over, we, we screw down the ceiling, go inside, finish up the bathroom and that's pretty much it. Once that's done and set up, then it comes back into the electrical and plumbing portion of that. The plumbing crew then adds water lines, tanks, a sink, and the toilet. So different from the simple ice shacks we used as kids. If you even had a bathroom in those, uh, you pretty much just had a toilet seat uh, with the bucket system to go. What we're doing now is a full RV. It's got the holding tank, it's got a freshwater tank, it's got, just like a camper, it has a flushable toilet, you have a working shower, you have a kitchen sink that works, you can have a vanity in your bathroom that with running water, all of that if you choose. Next electricians add outlets, lights, and more. 
This install takes a lot of wire. It seems like we put miles in. Yep, it's, we buy it on the big spools. We put a lot of different wiring in it and, and a lot of it. You know, one thing that's unique to what we do, all of the wiring in an ice castle goes up and over the roof. The next step gets messy. So messy, our cameras risk getting foamed. If it gets the upgraded spray foam package, then it'll go from wall assembly over to the spray booth and get the spray urethane foam insulation done. When we're done with our build, anglers will be able to watch Made for the Outdoors while out on the ice. Stay with us, we make our house a home next. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Husqvarna. Iron Jaws. Banks Outdoors. FVP, Verified Proven. And by Warner's Dock. Welcome back to the show. We're now about halfway through our build. So this is what our ice castle looks like when it arrives in the finishing department. Now it will stay right here and teams of trimmers and sizers will come in and finish the build. Adam Uchinski manages plant one, which is the original plant. This plant is in charge of final finishing all details. The house comes in pretty raw comes in with the floor done and the walls up, ceiling on, and then we put on the siding, we put on the roof, uh, we do all the finishing insides. Ice Castle started with just one building. Now with a staff that's 170 strong, there are four buildings with more on the way. We stand behind them 110%, you know? And I think that's what built Ice Castle to where it is today. You know, we got, we got 170 employees and, and still growing. The finishing department houses multiple teams. Roofers, siders, electricians, trimmers, and more. Depending on the day, uh, we do have a lot of people cross-trained from one department to the next. A group of four preps the house, while another team puts on the roof and siding. Trimmers wrap up the inside, while windows go on the outside. It's just a matter of every busy bee doing their work. So many moving parts all at once. Each castle also gets custom cabinets. Everything from the countertop to the cabinets, everything top to bottom is built right here. So if you want to order something different, you know, we'll do it standard. If you want to tweak it a little bit, we're able to custom fit everything to that house and make it a perfect fit because we build it all right in house. Cabinets are screwed in back over in the finishing department, along with the shelves, countertop, and more. Appliances, cabinets, all the trim work, the door. We do all the wheel well skirts, the vents for the furnace, vents for the fridges. It's all small details we finish. Small details down to the logo. Each unit gets a nice castle decal. Very proud of the hard work they put in. They put long hours in in the wintertime um, trying to meet customer demand. They take a lot of pride in the work that they do. When we come
come back, we give you the full tour of this ultra-modern ice fish house that now doubles as a cabin getaway on wheels. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Lacan Marine, Mouse Mix, and by White Bear Lake Superstore. Welcome back to the show. An ice house is aptly named a castle for good reason. During peak season, workers complete 10 to 12 ice castle fish houses daily, and they're shipped all across the U.S. It's now time to get tacky, bring in the entertainment package and AC unit. People now install TVs, PlayStations, Bluetooth radios, and underwater cameras in their rig. This house is hooked up. It's basically plug and play. Pretty much. <laughs> it's no, not no roughing it no more. So, you know, it's, it's a nice deal. You know, you got satellite TVs, and whatever, just every, everything you need. It's like fishing in your living room. <laughs> Our final step includes installing kitchen appliances, followed by mattresses and cushions to the beds and couches. How cool is this? We're so close to being done with our fish house. Many of the appliances are already in. Our final step, the stainless steel stove. This is it. Once it leaves those doors, the house is done. So it's official. We are finally done, Chad. Here it is. I Here, love it. 34 foot fifth wheel. The Taj Mahal of what we build, all season <laughs> traveler. Yeah, definitely living a life of luxury. It's hard to believe that this is a fish house, but the holes below us are your proof. We got the two jackknife sofas back here. They fold out into, into beds. We got a 60 inch queen size lift bed. It goes up and down on the switch. So you get it up out of the way when you're, when you're not using it. Full cabinets in the bay window. Got the removable table here. This is where I can envision myself already. Cooking a nice steak dinner, and then all of a sudden hearing that rattle and going to catch a nice big walleye right over there. <laughs> Absolutely. This has the upgraded uh, appliances here, the stainless steel, you know, with everything we show there. The nice uh, sink, it's got the hot water, um, holding tank, it's got the full RV package. Wow, so lots of space, lots of storage space up here. Yep. I'm always checking for outlets. Oh, good, I can plug my phone in to charge it at night. <laughs> right, yep, got the full closet for your wardrobe. Oh, wow. Going up. Look at how nice this is. An electric lift bed in a fish house. We really are living a life of luxury. Good night. Anglers in Minnesota use these fish houses year round. I love it. I use it in the summer, I use it in the winter. I go hunting with this, I go fishing in the summer with this. There's even a Facebook group of Ice Castle owners that's 15,000 members strong. It's a group on Facebook called Ice Castle's Owners Group, ICOG. So it's just a bunch of friends that all own ice castles and take care of each other when we're on the ice. Each year, they host an annual Ice Castle Fish House owner get together.
hundreds of houses take over Red Lake. There's about 600 ice shacks around me with a lot of friends. I got a TV in here, lights, LEDs outside, uh, stove, cooktop, PlayStation. You can pretty much do anything with these. They're so different from house to house, but they're all the same brand. So you have the same custom quality build, but you have different finishes, different setups where you can sleep. Uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. What a cool product made right here in Minnesota. And check this out. With the click of a button, the hydraulics drop the house down onto the ground or onto the ice. Her, it's cold out here. I'm not dressed for this. I'm getting back in that diamond edition. Privacy, please. Singing in the shower. Just singing in the shower.